Today I'm looking at Parkies by J.T. Smith on Kickstarter now. It's a theme park building, uh, bidding, and area control kind of game where you're trying to get the pieces to your board and score high, win big. All right, this is going to be a brief overview because J.T. put together a really great uh, nine-minute overview video I'll link to. But I'll show you the money tracker and then the bid level per um, size of attraction. You have the first player token, decide what color you are, I'm blue, I'm going to bid first. I really want that medium attraction, so I'm just going to bid my full 20. Um, it's a fool's game, but it's the way I wanted to do it, because I want that. The next player is going to bid low on the small attraction. The player after him is going to bid a little bit higher, so he'll rebid all the way to the top, forcing the black player off to the parking pool. Then you're going to have to, now that everyone's bid and everyone's assigned, pay for what you wanted pick up your pieces and place them and we'll show you all that here really fast. Alright, I'll go over the turn order card here. You flip over new tiles, so this is the new attractions. You turn, you'll take turns placing your bids. You'll pay for the tiles, place them, and adjust your stats up. Collect income, move up to two of the Parkies, which are the attendees. Choose a parkie from the pool and add it to one of your park entrances. Pass the start player clockwise. And then start a next turn. Um, this is the next round. The other thing to notice on here is the parkies. They're powerful. So those are the discount if they're the right color. Um, you can discard them to gain more money. Or you can discard to trump a top bid of the matching color. Really powerful stuff the parkies can do if you've got them in the right place in your park. All right, that's been my briefer than normal overview of how a game plays, but it'll let you see all the pieces, all the working parts. Be sure to check out the Kickstarter page. Just go to kickstarter.com, search for Parkies, or uh, follow the Game Crafter on Twitter. I'm sure you'll see their tweets. Uh, they've got a great like nine-minute overview video for this, and it's really in-depth. So I'm talking about Parkies. As you can see, he's on Kickstarter now. It's out by J.T. Smith and the Game Crafter. Uh, artwork by Alicia. And I just got to say, I really like it. I like the um, bidding for individual pieces of your park and the strategy behind that. And yes, strategy was on purpose. Um, then the uh, there's also some strategy to just getting colored park members so that we can put them on your park and use them as you see fit. Uh, if you have them, the, like the blue guy on the water slide, you get extra points. That's really clever to me. Um, you want to save money because the more money you have at the end of the game, you have points. Um, the more connected entrances you have, you get extra points. And all of that's covered really well in uh, JT's own Parky's walkthrough. That's why I didn't put it in this review. Because I just wanted to get into other things about it. Like um, It's an expandable game where if the two to plus players, there's the one park each, which you saw in the little brief part of mine. But you can play this game up to six players. You've got all the pieces needed for that. And if you're playing five or six, you can have two small attractions and two medium attractions out. So that is just a built-in two to six player game, which is pretty rare. Usually there's an expansion for games where you have to have, you know, buy this extra thing to have a bigger fun of game, like Catan, for example. You know, it's two to four players, but if you want to play five or six, here come buy this other crap. Parkies just gives it to you. It's there and it's ready to go. Um, the other thing is, you know, one little map for building your park. Looks like that. But built right into the game is a harder mode with a big lake in the way. So that gives you um, replayability, a different, um, different strategy for how your map is laid out. You only have the three entrances. Or, yeah, no, it's still four, but it's... Um, just laid out different and harder, which I like. And then on that tracker I showed you briefly, I'm going to show you again here, it's your allure, profitability, and satisfaction, which are the things you're trying to get as you buy the um, ski ball or the water slide. Each attraction you buy has its own skill point, its own um, value in allure, profitability, and... Um, satisfaction which I can't get now 
uh, which is great. You know, it's um, some some building games are kind of lighter than I like to be, but um, I like I just really like the way Parkies plays and the just the name. I'm a big fan of the uh, movie Snatch, and I, he first told me, you know, making a game called Parkies. I was like, what do I want to hear him before if we got no wheels? Uh, which, of course, is a quote from Snatch. I was thinking he was talking about Pockies, which are the um, transient trailer folk in uh, Britain. But No, Parkies are park goers, uh, people who attend um, theme parks, as, almost like it's their job. They're Parkies. So the whole game is build up your park, you know, attract other Parkies. Track the right type of clientele, if you will. Um, if you need the blue ones for the water slide, the orange one for, I think it's food items, and so on. I mean, there's it's really clever how that's thematically schemed out and gives you strategy in the type of clientele you attract. Um, and also, I'm not getting a wide enough view on this, but I'm wearing my board game group shirt today. Um, all Broken Prism reviews are part of the United Geeks Network. Or... But the important thing is, uh, Parkies is on Kickstarter. And why, you might ask, is that important? The Game Crafter, uh, they kickstart games they make themselves. Balrog. Sorry, the captain is dead. Um, the Game Crafter, when they kickstart their games, it's not just about their game and just about their um, you know, marketing of, of that game. They come up with new cool components as they design games that help other independent game designers. And so what I really like is when they kickstart, I've got a pledge because it's funding towards the next cool thing I can use to design my own games. Uh, right now they're talking about a uh, larger retail sized box, which is great because you see a lot of these Game Crafter games, when compared next to a retail game, are different sized. All of these will have the option of getting fleshed out into bigger store sized shelves which I'm uh, an impressed fan of but uh, that's going to be all in their stretch goals they'll cover um, the cool things that funding Parkies which is a great fun game also funds the ability uh, for other great fun games to be made that's why I'm I'm in for a copy of the game and a little extra to push it along its funding goal as of now, it's already funded, and it just needs um, more support, share the word, and help support a great community at the Game Crafter and a great set of games and a great game designer, J.T. Smith. Thank you for watching Broken Prism Reviews. This game is definitely approved. Um, I just love the whole uh, bidding and uh, you know trying to decide on placement. Do I bid low and hope to get it cheap, or do I just bid high out the gate so I make sure I get the thing? But in the end, it's not just um, getting one nice attraction. You need to have a series of, or a bunch of small ones, and one super nice one to have collected enough money over the game. So there's a lot to it there. And sometimes losing the bid and being stuck in the parky pool is beneficial as well. Um, having parkies can help you flesh out attendance in your park and get you points that way. So um, really look forward to seeing the retail version of this game as you saw the the review only copy there in the black box but the retail copy is going to look very sweet catch you next time